Good day learners and welcome to today's video where we are looking at sorting out the contents of a window and this is usually for grade 11s and grade 12s when it comes to question number one of their pack either June or the end of year finals and for the grade 12s well it comes up in the prelims as well. So this is typically what you'll find in your uh, question one folder and most of what they want you to do is up here in the tab named view. So when we talk now about sorting the contents of a window, we've really got three options that usually come up. The first being to group by. Now I want you to have a good look at what everything looks like over here. And then we're going to go up to group by. And it tells us that it groups the items in this view by a column. So you can see nothing is selected. Plus I've got ascending and descending. And I've got the fact that I can choose extra columns or other columns that are not listed here. So I'm going to click on, uh, let's go with type. And you can immediately see the difference. So this is how in my window, within my folder, looking at the contents of the folder, I can group my items. Then within that group, I can sort my items by size. Or I can sort it by name. And you can see how a few things change there. I can sort it by the author, whatever I want to do. But this is how within my window, I can then group and sort. And if there's a column over here that I want added that I maybe don't have, I can go up to add columns, and I can either remove or I can add columns. And remember, if I don't have it listed here, I can click on choose columns and I can go, let's say, maybe down here and say, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, content type, put a tick in that, and click OK. And this is how we are able to then sort, group, and add columns within a window.